Hey YouTube, this is the Woolman282 back again with another video. And uh, right here I have a couple of PlayStation 1s. Um, this one right here is um, working perfectly, there's nothing wrong with it. And this one here uh, has a major problem. Uh, the laser will not focus on a, on a, uh, on a PlayStation disc or any disc. Uh, so this is kind of the, the back story here. Um, I put a mod chip in this one. And while I was doing that, I managed to uh, tear the ribbon cable that goes to uh, the, the uh, CD-ROM drive. Uh, I didn't tear it very much, but you know, any tear in a ribbon cable is uh, like is considered major major damage. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to fix um, uh, a torn ribbon cable, pretty much. Um, but yeah, like I said, the laser won't focus, and I'm just going to give you a quick example of what I'm talking about. So. Um, uh, I got this one hooked up with just just some power, and uh, I'm going to open it up here, and I'm going to give you an example of what the laser should do when you hold down the uh, lid switch here. All right, so this is the uh, PlayStation One that's not broken, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on here, and the the lid is open. So what I'm going to do is use a just a uh, little um, screwdriver to poke down the uh, lid switch, and what's going to happen is the spindle is going to spin twice and the laser is going to raise up or focus twice. It's going to, trying to detect a disc pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this switch down. And you see it's working properly. It's it's trying to focus on a disc as if it, there were one in there. So uh, yeah, this one works. Now we're going to move on to the uh, one that's not working. And here's the one that's not working. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on right here. And again, we'll do the same thing. Just hold down the lid switch. And you see the, the the spindle spun up, but the laser didn't try to focus anything, and that's because again I tore the ribbon cable. So uh, that's what we're going to fix. Um, I'm going to open this thing up, and uh, I'm going to explain to you guys how to fix the torn ribbon cable. All right. So in order to uh, be able to fix a PlayStation One with a torn ribbon cable, here's the tools you're, that you're going to need. Uh, first, you're going to need a soldering iron and a uh, wet sponge. Uh, optionally, you might need um, some soldering wick. Uh, I will explain that later in the video. You're going to need some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. You're going to need a, a number, a size number one uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, I'll be using a bit and just a standard hex driver. You're going to need a razor blade. The razor blade is going to be for stripping your wires over here. Uh, the reason we're not using wire strippers is because these are really really small gauge wires and uh, standard wire strippers don't have that size so you need a razor blade to be able to strip the wires. Uh, next you're going to need a, a jeweler screwdriver preferably Phillips head. I don't have one this is just a flat head but it'll work fine. Uh, you're also going to need some sort of poking tool this is just an awl. Uh, if you don't have an awl this will probably work just fine but it's just you know it's nice to have uh, options. Uh, you're going to need some solder and you're going to need some flux. Uh, it's going to be really handy if you have some helping hands. Uh, this really comes in handy. Uh, you're niche, and you're going to need some wire. This right here is a, just a bobbin that I've uh, got some uh, Kynar wire wrapped around. Uh, Kynar wire is just a single core uh, standard uh, really small gauge wire. Uh, it means it's not, it doesn't have multiple wires uh, you know, inside a single uh, jacket, it's just one wire. Now, if you don't have Kynar wire, it's perfectly fine. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can use like an old uh, IDE cable. This actually came off uh, an old uh, five and a quarter inch floppy cable, and I just um, you can just like you know peel a strand off, and that's what this is right here. This is just uh, this came off a of IDE cable. It's just a piece of wire. If you don't have that, then you can use a uh, scrap piece of scrap Ethernet wire. Uh, if you have an Ethernet cable, you just cut it, uh, and uh, you can actually uh, take a, a strand out of out of that and use that. So, uh, not really picky on the wires, but uh, I will be using this just because I have it. And last, you're going to need your broken PlayStation. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so taking apart a PlayStation 1 is incredibly simple. It's awesome. You have six screws, 
three on the um, three on the front, three on the back, and this one in the middle is located under a warranty sticker. So just kind of poke through that with your screwdriver or cut it out like I did. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you get, all I need is a number one screwdriver, and you're good to go. Okay, so once you have the lid removed on your PS1, uh, this is what you'll be, be, be presented with. You'll have uh, the laser assembly here and uh, the shielding over on top of the motherboard. Uh, so what we have here is the ribbon cable and the connector for the driver, I mean for the spindle and stepper motor. And you see these two red wires here, just ignore these. Your console will not have these. Uh, this was basically what I've done. I've pre-soldered in these two wires to help expedite out this video. Uh, these wires solder into a part of the laser where it's really tight and really hard to get in. And it's just to save, save me some time and save you some time as, when you're watching this video. Uh, so I've just, you know, pre-soldered those in there to, you know, help move this thing along. So ignore these for now. Uh, but what we're interested in is just removing this laser assembly first. So you have these three rubber little peg things here. These are just like shock absorbers. Um, they are not attached to anything. It just lifts up just like that. So what I like to do is uh, remove the, uh, the, uh, stepper, the stepper motor uh, connector here first. Just give that a little wiggle and it'll pop right out. And then to remove the uh, ribbon cable here, Yours might have like a, a white tab here on the front, which is good. This one doesn't seem to have one for whatever reason, uh, but that's actually to help you grip the, grip the cable and take it out. Uh, it's basically to protect the ribbon cable. So um, what you wanna do is lift the, the CD assembly up like this and grab the base of the connector here with your thumb and finger and just be very gentle, very gentle when you do this. You just wanna kind of rock it back and forth until this thing comes out like that. And so that's the uh, uh, laser assembly removed. Now, uh, again, I said this is the one with the mod chip. So uh, there's my mod chip, you know, basically all there is to it. But we're not interested in that. Um, what we're interested in is the laser assembly. So uh, this thing could be a little bit tricky to uh, to take apart. So here's what you need to do. First off, turn it upside down. And remember, be very gentle with this laser here. Turn it upside down. And ignoring these two red wires, uh, you're just going to gently push the laser, the laser um, assembly right here about halfway to the right. Uh, so we're just going to do that. And uh, it's going to it's going to start grinding and stuff, but you just can't help it. Uh, there's no way around it. Well, okay, that diamond didn't do it. Um, but yeah, about halfway is good. And then we're going to flip it back over. So now our laser is about halfway in the middle of the uh, track. So uh, get your jeweler screwdriver. And you have two screws right here. You have one right here and one here. And we're just going to take those screws out. Set them over here where I can see them. Now, uh, we have to take off this gray cover here. So you have a clip right here and a clip right here. So what you all you have to do is just uh, put your fingers right here and just kind of slide it to the left. Like this, slide it out, and just kind of, you know, lift it out like that. And that's all there is to it. Uh, be very careful with this because it's very thin and flimsy. Uh, if you break it, it'll probably still go on there, but you know, don't break it. All right, now we're presented with the actual laser assembly, and we have the linkage here. Um, what we want to do next? Uh, you have the ribbon cable. Uh, it's got this little. Um, 
you have a, a potentiometer here and a capacitor and it sits on this uh, a white piece of plastic and it sits inside this groove so just kind of lift that out like that uh, just just leave it floppy um, next looking right here on this uh, black plastic piece here we have a screw right here and what this does is just a retaining screw that holds on this black uh, cover so we're going to remove that now this screw is different from the other two screws that held on the uh, gray piece so just remember that there's only three screws holding this in so you just have to remember that the short screw is different from the other two longer screws all right now uh, after that's complete I'm just going to move the laser assembly all the way to the left like that and now this long white piece here is like a it's kind of like a retaining clip uh, it actually holds in the uh, actual laser so um, what you want to do is lift up here we're holding this in lift up here on this this edge and just kind of push it forward like that and then it'll just uh, clip out and then at this point you can actually uh, lift the laser uh, to the left like this lift it up and uh, remove it from its rails like so set that down and then this part we don't need right now so we're just going to set it to the side along with the clip and then here is the removed laser assembly all right so here's the closer look at the actual laser assembly uh, again ignore these two wires right here I'll explain those in just a minute uh, but just moving this ribbon cable out of the way uh, you see right here we have removed the screw like like we did earlier and so we need to um, remove this black uh, plastic cover here so you have a clip on this side and you also have a clip on this side and make note that it, the clip is actually going um, behind this part of the orange ribbon cable so just make a note of that in in your head because that's kind of important uh, but um, what you want to do is take your uh, screwdriver or poking tool and just kind of uh, lift that clip off like that doesn't take much at all it just kind of comes off but it is clipped so you need the tool and then again on this side just kind of remove it like so and then uh, there's like a little um, not a clip but just like a place it uh, it sits on so you're just going to uh, pull it forward like that and just like the uh, the other the gray piece this piece is uh, incredibly fragile it's it's even thinner it's even thinner than this thing so just take great care not to crush this put it in a safe place something um, yeah just be careful with that okay so the problem we're having is the laser is not moving up and down so you have a magnet here and a magnet here and you have uh, some coils of wire on on these two posts here so when the, the PlayStation puts um, electrical current through these wires it creates an electromagnetic field that uh, raises the laser up and down and helps to focus the laser on the disc well that's not working because uh, the, the ribbon cable is torn so I'm going to try my best to show you that right here uh, you see right here where this like little white mark is you can barely see it but I got down with a magnifying glass and the first two traces are torn it's incredibly hard to see on video but uh, if you get down really close and look uh, a couple of traces are torn so what that means is um, these traces that connect to uh, the servo electromagnets aren't you know they aren't connected so we have to fix that and we're going to bypass that with uh, some wire here so in this particular case on this particular laser assembly might be different for yours I've traced those two um, pins back 
here to the back of the uh, laser. And you see that right here, I've actually uh, soldered in these two wires here on these two uh, solder joints right there. Um, those two solder joints connect to these two broken traces. That's because I personally traced it back. I didn't use a pin out diagram. Uh, actually, I was going to look for one to show you guys, and there's really not a good one on the internet. I can't find a pin out for the ribbon cable for the laser assembly. There is one, but it's it's all text. There's no pictures, so it's really hard to decipher what's going on. Um, so that's kind of why I'm making this video, just to help you guys in case you have a broken ribbon cable. Uh, but anyway, getting back to uh, what I was showing you, these red wires, I've soldered them onto these two points because that's where the broken traces lead to. And I've kind of stuffed them down, I've kind of stuffed them down into this little crevice here. Uh, kind of hard to, to show you, but I've just kind of stuffed them down inside there. And I brought them out underneath the uh, this uh, stop switch here, just like that. They're just kind of, it's kind of like that. Uh, again, it's really hard to show you because it's so small. But uh, if you're doing this as you're following this video, you can kind of see what I'm doing. So yeah, they're just kind of going nowhere for right now. But that's going to change. So. Um, Basically what I'm going to try to do, got these two wires here, the way I'm going to bypass these torn traces is I'm actually going to take the wire and solder it to the pins on the connector that they go to. Um, I've actually done a little bit of testing and um, what you don't want to do is put solder on the entire pin because the pin has to go inside a slot. Uh, it can't go inside the slot if there's a bunch of gooped up solder on the whole pin. So what you want to do is just put it at the very top of the pin. All right, so basically what we're going to attempt to do, we're just going to take the uh, appropriate wire and we're just going to solder it onto the very top of the pad on the ribbon cable. Uh, again, we don't want to go all the way down this pin because if you goop solder on this whole pan, you can't get it inside the slot on the motherboard. So we're just going to go to the very top right there. And we're going to do it on these first two pins because these are the traces that are broken. The rest of, the rest of these pins are fine. It's just the first two. So uh, that's what we're going to do. All right, so this is where you're going to need your, uh, kind of like your, uh, your frame that the, the actual laser assembly sits on. Uh, you're going to need it to uh, put the wire underneath. So uh, what I've done here is I've just kind of uh, twisted these together to make them easier to manage pretty much. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put this back in the sled. So uh, it goes, you put the, uh, you got like these, these three little clip things that uh, slide on the sled on this, on the left side here. So you're going to put those in first and then it's going to drop in and it's going to lay just like that. And uh, then you're going to take your wire and you can put it underneath the sled like this. And then what's going to happen is when it sits in the PlayStation, it's going to sit like that. And this is going to come around and then clip into the uh, ribbon cable uh, like that. So uh, you couldn't do it over because you have this ribbon cable in the way. And you also have um, that big gray part in the way. And also when this slides forward, uh, if this was actually sitting here on top, uh, the wire would be in the way of um, the laser actually free, freely moving back and forth. So that's why we're putting it underneath. Uh, so it's gonna have room to uh, actually uh, slide. But um, when you do this, just make sure that you have enough uh, wire to actually reach to uh, the ribbon cable. If you need to, you can get your PS1 here and you can just like sit it in there and you can kind of measure about where, about about how much wire you need. And then you can, you can uh, clip off any excess. 
it's like that. But uh, this, the current amount of wire that I have right now is going to be fine. Okay, so at this point we're almost ready to solder. Uh, as you can see, I'm using my helping hands here. Uh, it just really comes in handy. Uh, basically, I've just got the, uh, the disk drive in this claw and I have the ribbon cable, the piece of cardboard, and the wire in this claw. And the piece of, reason I got the cardboard is because uh, my cable doesn't have that white um, protector I was talking about. So I, I just I didn't want the claw to maybe accidentally poke a hole inside the plastic or something like that. I'm basically just being cautious. Uh, but um, I've just got the uh, wire uh, just inside the claw too. So I'm just going to zoom in and kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So this is it. Uh, you see right here I've just got the, the wire inside the claw and it's not even soldered yet. It's just touching the first pad. Uh, that's basically all there is to it. So this is where we're going to use our flux. And what we're going to do is we're just going to apply just a very small amount. Like it doesn't even need to be a droplet size. It just needs to be just very, very little. And that's all you need. That, that wasn't even like a water droplet size. That was even less than that. All right, so we're just going to take our iron, and all we're going to do is just going to touch the wire to the pad. And remember, we're only want we only want to get solder at the very top of the pad, not on the rest of it. All right, I just barely touched it, and I believe it went on. Let me check it. Yep, it's on there. Okay, and now we're going to do the other one. Alright, so we've got the second wire in place. Not soldered yet, so uh, again, what we're going to do, we're just going to take our flux. We're just going to put a very small amount on there. Doesn't take much. We'll take our iron. We'll put just a just a little tiny bead of solder at the top or at the tip and I can't really get this wire to lay down so I'm just going to hold it with my finger onto the second pad right here I'm just going to touch it like that and it's done now if you got uh, some solder down here on the lower part of the pins like I did uh, what you can do is you can take your uh, desoldering wick right here and uh, very gently just apply it to uh, the bottom part of the pins and you can actually just uh, very gently suck it off. So I'm going to do that right now. Just like that. I didn't touch the solder joints that I made. I just touched the bottom part of the pins and I sucked that solder off so that it'll fit inside the uh, slot on the motherboard. Alright, so before we uh, go ahead and put this back together, uh, we have flux on this uh, connector here and we want the flux gone so that it'll make connection inside the slot. So uh, just get a Q-tip and some alcohol and just uh, clean that flux off just real good. like that and let go ahead and let it dry all right so we've got the uh, broken traces bypassed and uh, all there is left to do is to reassemble this so um, what you want to do is go ahead and push your laser, laser assembly all the way to the left like that and we're just going to lift it out we're not going to take the whole thing out we just want it to hover like this while we take the uh, this black cover and we just want to fit that on so we're just gonna let this hover like this and we're just gonna slip it on there remember that the clip goes behind the uh, orange cable right here just like so and we're just gonna press it down and it's gonna snap on all right then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall this set it back in there just like so. 
and you're going to take the screw that holds this uh, black uh, cover on and we're going to put that screw back in. Okay, so the screw's back in. Now we're going to take our uh, retainer clip here with the gears on it. And we're going to set it inside right there. And remember, it, we had to push it up for it to come out. So we're going to do the inverse. We're going to have it in the up position. We're going to place it in, and we're going to hold the laser, and we're going to slip it back in. Just like that. It slides in and out, just like that. Okay. Now we're going to take our cover. Well, before we do that, we need to put our uh, ribbon cable back in its little slot here. It slips right in there. Then we'll take our cover. And this middle part here goes underneath the spindle here. Just like that. And don't try to just force it on. Remember, it has to slide on. So you have these two clips right here. Just push it all the way down and then uh, slide it in just like that. All right, so now that that's installed, we're going to take our two screws and we're going to go ahead and screw this in. just reassembled. Now just go around the edge of the uh, gray part and make, make sure it's sitting on the um, on the base if it's uh, like if these clips aren't uh, clipped in properly or something like that uh, you need to fix that. Um, if this gray part is raised up anywhere around here like, like it's not sitting properly it can scratch your disc so um, just make sure it's installed properly before you continue. So uh, that's good. Uh, we got the cable runs underneath the, the uh, black part and the clips on uh, and is soldered to the ribbon cable. So what we're going to do, do is just uh, go ahead and test it. So uh, get your PS1 here and we're just going to go ahead and install the uh, laser assembly. So uh, what I like to do, I like to install the ribbon cable first uh, since I can uh, control it better. So I'm just going to uh, stick it in there and then very gently just uh, push it down. And just make sure it's firmly seated and put the uh, shock absorbers back on their posts and install the uh, spindle and stepper motor cable. And so uh, you can see here we have a lot of slack on the uh, our patch wires here uh, and that's really that's just to give the laser uh, enough room to go back and forth. We don't want the uh, wires hanging up on anything uh, while it's moving, uh, it would just be bad. You know, it, your, your games wouldn't play right because uh, you know the, the laser can't move you know way it, the way it needs to. So that's why I have all this slack just to help out the laser. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hook up the power, and we're going to test it out. So I'm going to turn it on, and right now the lid is open because uh, the switch isn't pushed down. So when I push the switch down, the laser is going to come to its uh, initial position. The motor will uh, spin twice and the lens will focus up and down twice. So we're going to go ahead and test that out. All right, and it works. It's uh, excellent. I'm really glad it worked. So uh, all there is left to do is just to uh, reassemble this and see if it'll play a game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and test the game. Uh, right here, I have Final Fantasy IX. I'm just going to pop that on there, and I'm going to hold down the lid switch. And it spun up, and it's beginning to play. And 
is playing. This is excellent. Uh, we fixed it. Uh, we bypassed those traces that were uh, broken and we enabled the uh, lens to actually focus on the game now. So uh, now we're just going to reassemble it. Well everybody that's it. Uh, we, the PS1 is fixed. It can play games now uh, again. Uh, I hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, I really hope that a torn ribeye cable doesn't come upon you guys because it's really something scary and uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult to fix if you don't know exactly what you're doing but uh, if uh, for some reason you do happen to tear your ribbon cable while you're doing something inside I uh, hope you can follow this video and you can fix it um, so uh, thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll see you next time